it's impossible to feel at the beginning of this piece where you're going to be so many minutes later with the ecstasy of the finale because the first movement is all about terror and death. From these furios or low strings ripping through the texture and then this plod of a funeral procession which governs so much of the first movement. There's a particular spot which I adore, which is right in the middle, where the cellos and basses are asked to play this theme, yum, da dum, as slowly as they possibly can. And we hear, first of all, for the first time, the chorale ostinato above it, solemnly in the brass. And that's a theme which reappears in the finale where we, uh, we're turned in a completely di different direction to the ecstasy of the heavens and some resolution. The finale of the Second Symphony has a really interesting shape. Uh, like so much of Mahler, you need to make sure you don't peak too early because there are so many great, glorious moments. the final cadence, you can't believe that he asks so much more of us than he has for, for the rest of the movement. It's one of the greatest sounds in orchestral music with the, when the chorus and the orchestra open everything out and we look up towards the sun and realize we've, we've achieved it.